Hi everyone, welcome to a walkthrough of Tile Grid Map, a plugin for Godot 4 that lets you build 3D worlds by simply painting in a 2D tile map. This project started as a way to speed up creating 3D pixel art maps for my own games, and I recently updated it to use ideas from the awesome dual grid auto tiling system featured in a video by Just Codes. The 3D tiles you'll see were created with Crocodile 3D using pixel art textures from the mini fantasy asset packs by Krishna Palacio. You can find links to all those tools and creators in the video description below. Manually placing 3D meshes in Godot can be slow, especially when you want terrains that blend correctly. Tile to grid map speeds up this process. You draw tiles in 2D and it places the correct meshes in 3D automatically. Tile to grid map lets you draw 2D tiles to create 3D meshes. Blend terrain types based on adjacency. Generate worlds procedurally and place props like trees, rocks, or decorations. First, install tile to grid map from the asset library and enable it under project settings. Then, add a T2G terrain layer for the 2D tiles and a grid map for 3D meshes. Make sure your terrain layer has a tile set assigned and your grid map has a mesh library. Your tile set needs three custom data fields. Name, the base mesh name that connects to the mesh library. Height, a priority number used when different terrain types are next to each other. Higher numbers override lower ones. Exclude a comma-separated list of bitmask IDs to skip. This lets you block specific mesh placements like cliff tops. When naming your meshes in the mesh library, each terrain type should have 16 variations named using the bitmask system. For example, grass 0, grass 1, through grass 15. The bitmask number corresponds to the tile's connection state, which directions it's connected to, based on a 4-bit system. This lets the plugin select the right mesh for each tile automatically. If you'd like to learn more, check the link in the documentation to Boris the Brave's article on tile bitmasking. If you have alternative versions for tiles, you can add a letter suffix, like grass 15 a grass 15 b and the tool will randomly pick one during placement. Now just paint your world using the active tiles in your tile set. When you're done, click Build Grid Map and the tool will place the matching meshes in the 3D grid map. If you make changes, just click Build again to update the scene. You can also clear the grid map using the Manager dock. With procedural generation, you can generate terrain based on a noise texture. The T2G Proc Gen Manager node manages generation across multiple chunks, and the terrain types are assigned by noise value range. One important setting is the manual chunk toggle on each T2G terrain layer. If this is enabled, the chunk won't be overwritten by the generator, perfect for handcrafted areas within procedural maps. The T2G Props node allows you to spawn props like trees, rocks, or structures automatically. Each prop resource specifies the terrain types it can spawn on, the chance it appears, and which scenes to place. Tile to Grid Map is now available free on GitHub with full documentation to get you started. Special thanks to Just Codes for the dual grid system inspiration, Crocodile 3D for 3D tile creation tools, and Krishna Palacino for the mini fantasy art used in these examples. If you'd like to see Tile to Grid Map in action inside a real project, check out the game prototype I built using this system. There's a link in the description below. I also plan to continue expanding the project and adding new features over time, so be sure to follow the repository if you'd like to stay updated. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you build.